Now we can take a look at the WAN links. These are network links that connect our remote sites to our main office. Usually service providers provide these links. We won't get too deep into WAN technologies in this video. You'll notice in the topology that each WAN link has only two devices, the router at the branch office and the router at the main office. We call these point to point links as they're simple links between two points. That is, they're very small networks with only two devices. This means that we can have very small subnets per link, knowing that we will only ever have two devices in each subnet. I've chosen 192.168.0.0/30 and 192.168.04/30. A slash 30 network is big enough for our four addresses. That's the two devices, a network IP, and a broadcast IP. Why not use a slash 24 network as we have before? Well, we could, and it would work just fine if we did. But there'll never be a need to grow the size of these links. Also, it's very common to use slash 30 subnets for point to point links, so anyone could look at your design and they would probably have a good idea as to what's going on. You may also have noticed that I'm not using 172 subnets like I did for workstations, phones, and servers. This is to make the subnets stand out as being different. This is especially helpful when we want to use traceroute. Anytime we see a 192.168 address, we know it's one of these point to point links. Allocating IP addresses to each interface is easy on a small network like this. One trick I've learned is to consistently make the side closest to the core the odd IP and the other side the even IP. Now, this isn't mandatory, but it can make it easier to read the trace routes later. One last important link to handle, and that's the link from the edge router to the core switch. This is also a point to point link, so I still recommend a slash 30 here. I've used 192.168.10 here to make it stand out as being slightly different to the WAN links. And using the same trick as before, I've made the core switch the odd IP and the edge router the even IP.